All right, welcome back to the big Saturday show. Two years ago, President Biden took office. So how's it going? Biden and his VP think it's groundbreaking. Check this out. <laughs> What do you think? I think we're off to a pretty good start. I think we're off to a great start. I Hard mean, to believe it's two years. I, wow. I wish people could see what I see sometimes and what you have singularly done based on who you are. And I mean this in all sincerity. Oh, you're You've very been gracious. an incredible leader these last two well, years. I feel good about where we are. It's really groundbreaking. We've we got, got a lot momentum. more to do. We got momentum. Didn't get that chuckle there, Dan. Okay, his first day in office, Biden promised to be the most transparent administration in history. So what about this whole classified document scandal? I'm just not going to go beyond that. Again, we released information that was very transparent. You said transparent. I want to say that we have been transparent. There has not been a limit of transparency. I will say this, Kristen. We have been transparent. This has been done in a transparent way. I believe that is transparency. I wonder if she thinks she's doing woke politics and actually means a transparent. I'm not sure. Okay. In the meantime, a new report in the New York Post shows that there was a box labeled important docs in Biden's Wilmington home, the same home where some of those classified documents were found. And, that's, and that evidence came from Hunter Biden's laptop. What a coincidence. Uh, listen, we now know, thanks three years later, thanks to some outstanding journalism, that that laptop was for real. You know, you know all of us that said it was for real three years ago, I guess, uh, were vindicated. <laughs> and now comes from it this scandal. You know, the idea that Hunter Biden, who's got a whole mess of his own problems, might have had access to classified documents. They, we'll set that to the side for a second, Katie. They're talking about how successful they are. They certainly haven't been successful at being transparent. Well, the vice president says she thinks they have momentum. Well, they just lost the House, so I'm not really sure where they think the momentum is going to come from on Capitol Hill. She's come a long way from calling Joe Biden a racist and someone who was opposed to busing <laughs> <laughs> on the campaign trail when they were both running for president. Now they're having lunch together thinking, that they've done a great job. Um, but yeah, they, they have not done a good job of transparency. We're now seeing that Ron Klain, who is the chief of staff, will be leaving in the coming weeks. That is not a good indicator for where this scandal is going. And look, we still have so many unanswered questions uh, because of the stonewalling from the White House press secretary and from this administration about what happened. We don't know why Joe Biden had these documents. He claims and has told the American people that he didn't know they were in there, and yet there are reports that he was using them for a memoir. Uh, we now know that these documents were in his garage where Hunter Biden quarantined during COVID. Um, and Hunter Biden, let's not forget, it has a long history of engaging in very uh, questionable behavior, whether it's being under federal investigation now for tax fraud and not registering as a foreign agent, whether it's lying on a federal background check form for a firearm, whether it's the laptop from hell, as they say, showing him breaking the law um, in a number of ways. Uh, and yet he was very close proximity uh, to this classified information. And my question is, did he open the documents? Did he look at the documents? And did he end up using them to benefit himself and his family in these foreign business dealings? We don't know that the answer to that, but it is a question that's worth asking. You know, Julie, what I find interesting is the way the media is handling this. At the beginning, there was a lot of uh, defending Biden. It seemed like, oh, it's not a big deal. You know, I guess it's the Uncle Joe thing. And even now, if you watch the press briefings, they're not mad, or when I say mad, they're not upset about the idea that a private citizen brought classified documents home. They're upset that they didn't get a solid timeline, that their own reporting is yeah. looking bad now. I'm really glad you brought up the timeline because the timeline in all of this, I think, is the most critical of all, okay? Penn Biden uh, Center uh, in Pennsylvania, that's in 2018 is when the documents were moved over there. They were also moved over to the Wilmington, Delaware residents um, in that same year. Um, uh, Hunter Biden moved into his home, President Biden's home, in uh, around 2018, 2019, following his 2017 divorce. He was also coked up in that house as well. God only knows what other low lives he invited into that home. So that means classified you don't mean information. Either. Um, no, I do not mean okay. pop, as they used to call it <laughs> back in the days. Um, but no, we're talking about. God only knows how many people were in that home. Um, aside from the Corvette, which I don't believe is responsible for reading classified documents, um, the fact that they were also separated in three different locations is highly suspicious. Do not tell me that that was an accident, that you accidentally separated three different locations um, in classified documents. So there were a lot of questions. And, you know, I love how the president is trying to distance himself by comparing himself to the Trump administration or to Donald Trump, whose documents. Um, first of all, where's the FBI? FBI raid. I just want to know where, where, when is that coming? Is that coming, Andy? Yeah. Well, the, the thing about the FBI raid is I, I 
I don't have a problem at this early stage with Garland not having a search warrant done because it's a different factual situation. The mm -hmm. Trump thing went on for 18 months. This was a few days. But they had grounds for a search warrant. Yeah. So if you have grounds for a search warrant, the FBI has to be conducting the search. And what we heard was that the Biden the White House admitted counsel. they're being very yeah. cooperative, right? So the fact that they didn't do a search warrant doesn't mean that you don't have the FBI. You're talking about, like, top secret uh, SCI uh, compartmented documents, you know, the highest stuff, right, the highest rated classified stuff. Um, they made an agreement, the Justice Department did, with the Biden people that the FBI would not participate in the searches and that they would be conducted by Biden lawyers who don't have security clearances. Now, the, the crime that they're being investigated for is gross negligence in the handling of classified documents, which includes retaining them in a place that they're not authorized to be and causing them to be revealed or exposed to people who don't have security clearances and aren't entitled to have them. And it's one thing for him to say he didn't know, you know, up the last six years or whatever it was, <laughs> but everybody knows, as of November 2nd, he knew, and the Justice Department knew. So they put their little heads together, and instead of having the FBI go and retain uh, and get the documents, they, they have these lawyers go to these different locations mm -hmm. and actually, I, I think, make a bad situation yeah. even worse than yeah. it was. Can no, we just a, talk also about the timing in the midterm elections? Yeah. I mean, good right. God. It's you know, they not the had crime, this information. Cover up, right? They had this information, and they withheld it right before the midterm elections. Imagine what I, the results would have been if this well, information can I, can had been Can I public. just make one point sure. about that, though? Because they've gotten false credit they should never have gotten for self-reporting. They did not self-report. Real self quick, on that, yeah, and we, on that, we have to go. Yeah. The whole premise of rating Trump was, oh, let's do this before he hides or destroys something. And their response to that situation is to to tell Biden, here's all the opportunity in the world to hide and destroy something because we're not going to come looking. I think that is the problem, and that's what a lot of Americans are struggling to understand. Double all standard. Right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.